I mean, you saw me pick up Stuart Weitzman, Kate Spade, Jimmy Choo, for heaven's sakes. You guys, it is finally, finally warm enough for garage sale season to start here. So I'm so excited. I'm going to take you guys along. I really hope I find good stuff. Every Friday, I make a very big list of all the art sales that appeal to me based on like Facebook, things I find on our local news classifieds, anywhere that I see garage sales advertised. I look, I investigate. From that list, I hunt every Saturday morning. So come along with me. Uh, let's see if I find anything good today. Fingers crossed. First garage sale of the day, and I saw these Keen sandals. They've been a little hit or miss for me, but for a dollar, I was like, let's just go ahead and go for it. And then not a lot of the clothes were super exciting, but I did find some padded cycling shorts, and I've had luck with these in the past. These all happen to be the same size, so my thinking is I'm just gonna bundle them together and sell them as a lot for like, I don't know, 50 or 60 bucks and see how that goes. Or I could try selling them individually for like 10 to $15 each, but I do think like a bundle sale will get them moving a little bit more quickly. Here you go. Oh, uh, do you have change? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I'm back, yeah. All right, thank you so much. Second sale of the day. The clothes weren't very interesting, but I went inside and saw this portable DVD player. And this is like older, but these do really well. I find that people want to buy them for their kids when they don't want to like buy them iPads or Kindles or anything. And they are pretty popular still. And then this is a brand sold at REI. I've had a ton of luck with in the past. Hey, uh, does this work okay? Uh, yeah, the kids were using it not that long ago. Oh, and then. How uh, much for how these two? For both. Perfect, that works great. I think that is five. I'm gonna count for me just to make sure. At me, all right. All right, thank you so much. Okay, so portable DVD players, like back in the day at least, they used to sell well. Uh, I used to sell them on Amazon actually. And I see on eBay though, this still sells for like 50 bucks if it's in really good working condition, which she said this was, so. Uh, yeah, the kids were using it not that long ago. Oh, great. They had um, and then, Ultimate Direction is sold at REI, and whenever I've sold it in the past, it's sold great. So I do think this running pack, hiking pack, um, even though it's older, will do just fine. I got five pairs of padded cycling shorts for $5, and each of these could sell for like 20 bucks. So that's already $100 from five, and then five more dollars on the DVD player and the belt bag. We're already at like $175 minimum here, so that's so exciting. Some more Keen sandals. I spotted those right away. And then they had a few other shoes, some Asics, some, you know, Brooks, and they were really worn and dirty. So I was like, let's pass on that. But this vintage coach bag looked very interesting. It is a little worn, but I think it'll still sell. And then this is a Margot bag. This is sold on Sundance.com. Sells great. I love finding this brand. Uh, I, f I found it in the past. I actually think I just saw the purse that was Margot for like 40 bucks. Um, so we will see how this goes. But again, I'm, I'm buying it for so cheap. I feel like it's such a small risk. Hi. Hi. Let's see how much for, let's see, you got two purses, a bag, shoes and a bag. That sounds great. Do you want a bag or a box? Or... Uh, you know what, I think I'll be okay. okay. So this is a high school yard sale. Uh, wish me luck, usually these turn out pretty well for me. So cross your fingers. Okay, I was so excited to find this. If you guys saw that video where I bought all that stuff from Tiffany, she had a Teddy Fresh t-shirt in there. And a lot of you in the comments said, hey, that's actually worth a bunch of money. I, I had guessed around 30 and it did sell for 30 really fast, but it might have held its value a little bit better than I realized. So this is a Teddy Fresh jacket and it says on it, and this is again, this is Ethan Klein's brand. He's a YouTuber. I see a sold comp on Grailed for this exact jacket for a hundred and eighty dollars okay I'm impressed I think I paid like three or four dollars for this from that uh, high school yard sale so really really exciting this is definitely a brand to look for so I will be attempting to sell this for like a hundred bucks you know I, I want it to move quickly but yeah to think that this would sell for a hundred dollars is completely crazy I apologize for the lovely camera angle here, but in this uh, garbage bag, it hadn't been upended yet. I found some Vans. Vans are just extremely solid for me. Love selling Vans all day, every day. And then some North Face boots. These are the Shalista 4 boots and they were in beautiful condition. So an easy pickup as well as these 
Topo running shoes. These seem to have like really good listings on eBay and some decent comps. So I was like, let's go ahead and grab them. So I did. Um, everything here was really cheap as well. Quilted puffer jackets. I almost always pick them up if they're name brand. This is Adidas Terex. And I pick up the Solomon puffer jackets. I pick up Columbia puffer jackets. I don't always pick up Columbia when I find it, but when it's a puffer jacket, a quilted puffer jacket, they just tend to sell really well. So this should sell for about $60 and I'm really thrilled that I found it at that yard sale. We have some Athleta. So on this table, like there were a bunch more clothes for super cheap. Prana is another very bread and butter brand. Even this older tag still sells great. The wide leg Capris. Love selling them, and these were super cheap as well. A vintage Ralph Lauren quilted vest. Uh, this is a four pocket vest. Comps looked really good on this. I like picking up Ralph Lauren. I am a little picky with it, but I do think this will sell really well. This is like why I love high school yard sales because <laughs> the kids donate a bunch of nice stuff that sells great. These are made well overalls. Usually the stuff is like on trend as well. And this was one of the finds of the day. This is a bear wetsuit and I love finding these. Okay, I love picking up wetsuits when I find them. Uh, something to take note of is you're gonna wanna look at the sleeve and this is three slash two millimeters. I don't always know exactly what that means, but I believe it has something to do with the thickness of the fabric. And if it's thicker, it's worth more money. Editor Riff jumping in for a little confirmation. Yes, 3-2 is pretty much the most average size when you get a wetsuit. This is what she said. It is about the thickness. 3-2 is what you want to wear kind of in like mid water temperatures, a little bit cold. Then you go into 4-3, then the 5, like the thicker, the thicker, the more bigger, the more expensive. But 3-2, yeah, that's the standard that you would wear for pretty much year round comfortability besides winter. So this is still worth good money. I believe it retails for about $200 brand new. These, especially Bear, this brand Bear, sells for a lot of money. Um, retails for close to 200. I think I can sell this for maybe 75. I mean, we'll see, but this one is totally crazy. It is a kid's size. Um, that's fine. It'll still sell great. So really excited when I found this at that yard sale. You might have also seen me grab those Anki Overdrive, or at least they were like near me. They're like cars. My kids actually bought those from me when I got home. So 110, is that? 114, 114. 114? Yeah. Okay, you got it. Wow, no cash. Yeah. It's so funny because I used to live right over here. I'm like driving through where I lived in my early 20s. I used to run this little running route every day, twice a day. These were the most miserable times of my life. The, the most unhappy I've ever been. I wasn't allowed to date. I wasn't allowed to have friends. I had to work at my family's restaurant like a dog for either no money or for maybe $100 a week. I went to school full time. I was so busy and just so lonely and it was just such an awful time. In that moment, I truly thought it would never get better. I thought I'm stuck here and this is my life. And if only this Ashley now could go back and tell her, it's going to get so much better. Life is going to be amazing. Hang in there. But there are definitely tough moments and tough seasons for sure. So anyway, it's just weird to drive back here. It's almost like I'm grieving the person I was and how sad and miserable she was. And I, it just uh, kind of makes me feel heartbroken because I, I wish I had started living my life a lot sooner. But you live and learn and I think life is fantastic. There's still so many more awesome things yet to come. I don't know why. Getting nostalgic, having some emotions and I don't know, why not share it with you guys? You're basically my family now so uh, I share all these things with you. Maybe it'll give someone out there hope that things get better and to hang in there too. How's it going? I was like, I have to stop by. It's been way too long, and then you don't have to sort stuff for me. I'll just go look through it all. How's it going? Busy, but good. Thank Busy? You. Tommy with the fire. We've got vintage Jeffrey Campbell, or vintage by Jeffrey Campbell. 
today. No, so you should I always. You. <laughs> that's so and nice. Is oh, that's so nice. Oh my gosh, you. you're telling me somebody watches. You got me into this. Okay, so I'm just here compiling footage for Editor Riff, and I had to shout out Terry and Jerry at that yard sale, at Tommy's yard sale. They were the nicest people in the entire world. Um, Terry was the one you heard me talking to her on the shoes, and she was saying that, you know, just the nicest things. My dad, really? My husband watched you, and he was oh. like, Terry, you should do that. Yeah. I can't even articulate what it means to me when you guys tell me such nice things like about my videos or like whatever it is that I'm trying to do here because I'm always fighting an avalanche of self-doubt and like what am I even doing and all this stuff in my head so a lot of you don't even realize that you're helping me fight that battle right back it's just it means the world to me so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, I just can't even tell you what it means to me. Okay, we've got, hey, some Kate Spade. Little loafers, those are great. I should probably be keeping track of what I'm picking up here. Um, oh, some more Jeffrey Campbell. Oh, these are good. That's a thicker heel. Left brown. I'll have to look these up. These look interesting. Bell Sigerson Morrison. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Okay, so for the booties, I think these actually do okay. Let's see. Yeah, we'll try it. Some more shoes I was looking through. This is Stuart Weitzman. These are like some stacked heel peep toe pumps. I don't like vintage Stuart Weitzman, but this is like a more recent style and I think it'll sell really well. So grab those. And then this is Hispanitas. That seemed like a solid brand. Nice. These booties will do well. This is a very nice. Some more awesome finds in the shoe section. This is Giwawa, it's an anthropology brand. Sells really consistently and very well for me. Wow, so these are really nice too. Peter Nappy. So these are really good cards, please. Okay. I hadn't heard of this brand before, but it's Valis, V-A-L-A-S. Made in Italy, that of course caught my eye. These retail for 600 and something dollars. It's so insane. Man, this looks kind of cool. Cliff door. It's missing the laces. But maybe even so. Yeah, even as is, I think that's too awesome. Also, I didn't go into it much at the yard sale, but these are the Cliff Dweller shoes. They didn't have the leather laces, but this is actually like a subset of a brand called Sidewalk, which is spelled crazy, C-Y-D-O-Q or something like that. And these retail for like $300. It's insane. So these will definitely resell amazingly well. I went ahead and I ordered some replacement leather laces. They should come really soon because I think it'll totally be worth the investment and these only cost me like a dollar. So really excited about these and I just wanted to elaborate a little. Definitely don't pass up shoes that are sidewalk or cliff dweller because they sell great. Okay, so we all saw that Tommy's yard sale had the hookup with shoes. I found so many amazing shoes. By the way, you guys should follow Tommy's Instagram. He's not asking me to do this, but you really should because he announces when he does his yard sales in the Salt Lake area. They're always amazing, and he's doing them pretty much every single week. So if you want to go and get some amazing deals, I don't think I'm always going to be able to go every Saturday. You might as well be able to go and get some great deals yourselves. So I'll link it right here. It's fantastic. Everyone needs to know about it in the Salt Lake area. Okay, soapbox moment over. But this is a brand called, gosh, Giwawa. <laughs> I don't know. If the, okay, I don't know if it's right. This is sold in anthropology, and every time I've picked it up, it has sold really well and really fast. These are in very clean, very good condition. Always a great sign. These alone could sell for like 50 bucks. And then another brand, I mean, you saw me pick up Stuart Weitzman, Kate Spade, Jimmy Choo, for heaven's sakes. I did not find the companion to that one ballet flat though. Sad music cue here. Super sad, but that's okay, because I found another pair of Jimmy Choo's, so it all worked out. But this is a brand I kind of want to put on your guys' radar because I wasn't really aware of it. It is a brand called Peter Nappy, N-A-P-P-I. And these are just some, you know, regular kind of moto buckle boots. This seems to retail for a ton of money, and I think these boots might fetch me close to $100. The men's boots seem to sell a little bit better, but yeah, this is a really nice brand that you maybe want to keep your eyes built for. So you got this for a dollar? A dollar. She asked 50 cents, but I gave her a dollar for it. It's mid 1970s Sandcast Navajo. Oh my gosh. And so. That is amazing. Yeah, it would retail for about 200 in a gallery. Oh my 
gosh. This is a brand called Meester or Meister. I, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. As always, you guys, I, I don't know if I'm saying every brand right. Do you speak English? But this is like a really nice wool knit, kind of vintage vibe sweater. I have sold this brand before, it's sold well. It's very well made. I don't know about this style, but other styles do sell for a little bit more. Still, I think we'll be able to sell this for, I don't know, like 30, 35 bucks. And it was a kind of a cool find and unusual brand. Whenever something is cashmere, it I always like look twice. Even if it's like a lower tier brand, this is a Cynthia Rowley cashmere sweater. For a buck, I grabbed it. Same with this Eileen Fisher. This is called felted wool when it has like that felted fabric. Sells great, 50 bucks easy. You can see me at Tommy's uh, yard sale looking at this going, what? What is this? What is this embroidery? I figured it out. It's called Drunk and Monkey. Drunken Monkey. And I don't think it sells super great, uh, but I still should be able to pull out 20 bucks for this. All right, these leggings had no other logo or name brand other than this. And you're gonna always wanna keep a lookout for this little skeleton thing. This is a brand called Arcteryx. Um, veteran resellers are probably very aware of it. It retails for a ton of money and it sells fantastically well. So these are some Arcteryx men's leggings and I don't see too many flaws in them at all. They look to be in really good condition. These alone could sell for 75 to hundred dollars. Arcteryx holds its value really well. So always keep your eyes peeled for this. So excited I found this for just a buck. Real good. We have some New label cabbie, more recent cabbie. This is the Apre Ski zip up hoodie, and that sells great. And then this is a Patagonia Capoline, but it is the Air Crew Capoline, which is worth a lot more. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And then any quilted jackets I find, Under Armour, Cold Gear, I love picking these up. Under Armour is not like my favorite brand, but it sells great. As well as these figs, I always actually go to the scrub section of the thrift store to look for these specifically. Figs are very expensive retail. I don't think they sell for quite like as much as they once did, but they still resell really, really well. This is a set, it's an XL set of scrubs together. They definitely sell for more. So I think together these will sell for like $60. Uh, so that's really exciting considering again, this is just a buck or two. And then some Escada. Escada is a luxury brand. Can be a little bit of a slower mover, but this is the newer tag. Should sell just fine. This is a brand to look out for. It's Poetry. They sell like really cozy knits and basics. It sells great for me, as well as like a poetry linen shirt. Should do great. Thank you. Oh, you didn't have to extra kind service. It's the best time of the day. It is treat time. And I think I deserve a big treat because that was amazing. <laughs> what a great day. Back at the soda drive through because then I don't have to get out of my car. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Oh, it's so good. All right, if you guys are ready for this grand total, it's crazy. I spent around $250 on everything that I got at garage sales today and the resale value of all of this is over two thousand dollars um i was even kind of being conservative so we really hit the jackpot it was such an amazing day i'm so glad you guys could tag along and be sure to stay tuned for all my future garage sales it's garage sale season now so i'm going to be taking you guys along to a lot of them and if you like garage sale videos i have a lot of them in a playlist for you that i'll link right here so thanks again you guys take care and i'll catch you next time